I'm on the beautiful St. Croix River. I just got to the campsite for the first night of my multi-night solo kayak camping trip. I just thought I'd give you guys a little rundown of everything I brought with me, do a gear loadout. It is a lot, I will give you that, but for anyone that's curious, here we go. So let's start, I guess, with what I've got on me. Brimmed hat, lawn sleeve shirt, really important to try and stay out of the sun as much as I can. It would be a miserable time out here if you were burnt the first day, so. Quick dry pants, I can also zip off into shorts if I need them to. Inside my kayak, I've got a water bottle, insulated water bottle. Behind my seat, I've got two of these platypus pouches filled with water. And behind that is my cooler. This has today's meals and drinks. Heading up front, I've got my helmet. That's an NRS helmet. Throw bag. This is a waterproof pouch. It has extra batteries for my cameras, cords, uh, my camera, a lighter, my keys, my license. Telescopic fishing rod and spinner reel. This is my RAM mount, camera mount. I really, really love this thing. It's super convenient. It really grips well to my kayak. Sponge. This has suntan lotion, uh, bug spray, an extra poncho, uh, emergency lighters, a couple extra bungees, some aloe vera, stuff like that. Heading to the back now. This has all my camera equipment, uh, my extra GoPro. Uh, what else is in there? My tripod, a uh, couple different mounts for the GoPros. This is my pot. There's also a canteen inside there and my mini stove is inside of that. Inside of this dry bag is my inflatable mattress, my sleeping bag, my inflatable pillow, my change of clothes, and another warmer change of clothes. There's also a trail cam in here. Bilge pump, you gotta have one of those. The barrel we'll get to in a minute, because there's a lot in there. pop-up tent. I know there are much smaller tents you can get, but as I've said before, I am super lazy when it comes to tents, so I love this thing. Inside the back hatch, I got my tackle box. Now this cooler has everything for tomorrow, meals, drinks. That won't get opened until tomorrow. And this, more high quality, bigger cooler, has everything for after that. So this won't get opened until the third day. Inside the back hatch, I've got a little protein container. There's some apples and snacks in there. A 
water for cooking with. Now I know a lot of you will say you can easily filter water. I do have tablets, I do have a filtration system, but I've been having a lot of trouble with my stomach lately, so I just don't really feel like risking that. Hatchet. Ground sheet, tarp. Camp chair. Now, to get into this barrel, Inside here I've got some sweet potatoes that I meant to dehydrate before I left, but I didn't have time. I just got these this morning before I left. Uh, backpacker's Pantry Hot Apple Cobbler. Knee Brace. Some Mountain House Scrambled Eggs and Chicken Teriyaki in case I run out of food. I've also got some Pad CU chicken from Backpacker's Pantry. Moon cheese. I don't know if you've ever had this stuff, but it's tasty. Bunch of dehydrated vegetables. Dehydrated vegetables. I've got green beans, peas, carrots, and uh, white potatoes. Some canned fruit. This has a measuring cup, salt and pepper, tin foil, camp soap, spatula, spork, knife, and washcloth, and a can opener. Homemade dehydrated meals, breakfast, lunch, suppers. Uh, some chicken broth. I'm gonna make chicken soup. This is Cloverleaf Chicken Snacks. That's just a snack in case I get hungry. Along with some beef jerky, craved beef jerky, actually pork jerky. TP, gotta have that. Reflector oven, folding aluminum reflector oven. I love this thing. Muffin tin. Reading material, Jaws by Peter Benchley. Plate, rag, newspaper, and uh, some fire starters, oven glove, pocket rocket slingshot, this thing's a lot of fun. These are to make muffins, the little cups, emergency aluminum blanket, fuel, Bug jacket, folding saw, knife, solar charger, plastic baggies, garbage bags, uh, grocery bags, some zip ties, I find they come in handy, first aid kit, Monocular, uh, hippo patch, in case God forbid I get a hole in the boat, I've heard these work really well. Power banks, in case I run out of power. Paracord, some duct tape on a pen, that saves a lot of room if you guys have never tried that. Fire striker. And lastly, I have about six of these lights that I really, really like. I put these up around the campsite. Lights the whole place up. So that's it. That's everything I'm bringing with me for a multi-day solo kayak camping trip. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button.